Hello Mac Warriors, how is it going? Welcome to your daily dose of Mac Warrior Online. Today guys we are playing the Rifleman 2C because that thing just got reworked. We had a patch and the center torso hitbox as well as the Raider this year on top. It is not that significant of a, yeah, of a hitbox anymore. It is smaller, it is narrower, which means more of the damage will now go to your side torso and you don't get instantly cored. And that's what we're gonna try today and you will see that in the games. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous. Now, let's talk about the build that we are taking out for a spin. That is an Ultra AC2 build. We have five of them and that means we deal 10 damage each time we shoot. If we double tap, we have 20 damage and we just keep shooting our bullets until the enemies are dead. That is what we are doing today. We have a good amount of ammunition as well as cooling on top of a 255 rated engine which brings us roughly to 64 kph and we even have a jump jet for getting on the high ground when we need it. So this mech is really good for everybody who likes to shoot peace and a lot of them at your enemies. Now the skill build is pretty straightforward too. We have a lot of firepower skilled here. We have magazine capacity as well as the enhanced jam, duration nodes and then velocity, cooldown and heat gen. I wanted to get all the cooldown and I wanted to get all the velocity. Oh, I am actually skipping one here. Uh, but yeah, and heat management so that we can shoot relentlessly at our foes. We also went for maximum survivability because this is a face time build nonetheless. We have to stare down the enemies. We have to shoot in quick succession to actually deliver the damage. Our alpha strike is not that big, so we have to deal damage over time. And that means that the enemies will also deal damage back at us when we are staring down an enemy. Therefore, as many hit points as possible. I'm skipping operations here, but I have 60% rated deprivation and a consumable. And that is it. So lots of firepower, lots of armor, and then a bit of tool sets in the end there. All right, guys, that's the build. I wish you all a lot of fun in the two games that are coming now. And if you have that, don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And now it's time to hit the battlefield. All right, first game of the day. We are playing the Rubelite Oasis. We are playing Domination. We have a thousand meters range, around about 980. And I want to get on the high ground to shoot the enemies which are coming from the Echo 6-ish area, like, like this area. Echo 6, Echo 7, that's where they are, like completely opposite of the battlefield. And uh, if we get the high ground here, we have a good chance to actually get some early hits in. So let's go and overwatch and see if we can find some nasty, nasty foes. Probably think that they are here still, like in this area. Because I think, I mean, I pushed, oh wow, okay, cool. Um, I pushed pretty hard into uh, the forward direction when I was coming out of spawn. But I don't see anybody, and that's kind of interesting. It seems that the enemies are mostly in the Delta 6 area, diving down to cover directly, and not going on the... Is that an enemy? No, oh, it's not an enemy. Not going on the high ground. But okay, here we are. Oh, there's an enemy! And he dove down again. You know what? We're gonna keep him tracked. There are more enemies. Oh, we found him. We definitely found him. So, just a bit of early damage here. Uh oh, missiles coming. That's a lot of them. Um, you know what? I don't like that. Can you please not do that? Let's try, let's try to avoid that for as long as possible. Yeah, those missiles really shred my legs. Okay, we're gonna dive down here. And we are kind of safe being in the low ground scenario here though. But being safe means that I cannot shoot my weapons and I want to shoot my weapons in order to destroy the enemy. So we try to not expose ourselves too much. While also hitting the Nova Cat in the side. There was another guy. Is that a Corsair? Seems like a Corsair or a Sun Spider or something like that. Alright, heat level critical. Let's cool down and find some more enemies. This UAV is a problem, but uh, it's already getting shot, so I'm gonna go for the Enforcer down here. Sure. Actually, no. No, no, this is way better. Shooting the enemies like that down there. Okay, okay, okay. Actually, no, no, no. I wanted to go down there again, but my team is here on the high ground, still fighting. And here's the Stalker coming in. Please don't kill me? Is that possible? I mean, we can kill him. Okay, twist angle is over. I need to twist my legs now, which is kind of bad. But we get him. Very good. And we got support here. Okay, I'm going for the Corsair. He's caught, guys. Get Kilo. Good. Okay, that's smoke. I don't like that too much. But hey, we dodged it. We are in a 2 and 3 scenario. We gotta be more aggressive if we wanna win the game here. Um, Enforcer, please. Golf. Wow, 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 I don't want to die here. Okay, we take his arm, 
take his weapons. Hopefully also taking his life. Diving down to cover again. It's where I belong to right now. So what's that? It is big, it is nasty, it is a Mad Cat Mark II. Mad Cat right side, Foxtrot, one shot. Uh, can we get him? Come on, give me that sight. You don't need that anymore. Okay, and back to cover. Waiting for the enemies to target somebody else. And now we go in again, which is not good because the enemies waited for me. Ooh, the explosions are everywhere. We have to reposition. We're gonna go right now. I really hope that I still have the time to get out of here. Woohoo! Seven and four, though. Maybe, maybe, maybe we should turn around and actually fight here. Yeah, so the enemies were actually converting over to the other side of the battlefield. Means our dodge maneuver worked out in the end. And okay, we're gonna go for the night here. Okay. Linebacker is also almost down, but I don't want to die yet. I'm not done with the damage. So timing and positioning, that is key. Another kill, perfect. And here's the cool thing. We can engage at almost any range with this. Holy cow, this is actually working. Alright, and the hitboxes, the change of the hitbox, it really feels like it. You can really feel that the damage splashes more over all the components and not only the center torso. Uh, high ground, Echo 6, maybe? I got a lo uh, low signal in the center. Low signal in the center, Echo 6. Uh, where did he go? He has a light mag. I don't see him. Uh, there he is. Okay, found him. Good thing is that we got arms. Those arm actuators are gonna help us a lot. And we got him in the end. Nice one. Thanks, guys. That was really helpful. Okay. Oh, there it is. Shadowcat in Echo 4. Echo 4. Alright, let's get the last guy. We are down to 115 shots. Let's get as much damage on the guy as possible. Hopefully getting him down. And that is, I would say, an easy 1000 damage game here. Easily. Ha! <laughs> Great! <laughs> Look at my mech! This mech looks amazing! Don't give it a lick because it doesn't taste great. <laughs> Holy cow! That is cool! The new hitboxes, they really, really paid off. Ah, oh, it's not quite a thousand, it's 950 here. But hey, we got three killing blows, seven assists, uh, two kill most damage dealt, as well as 13 components destroyed. That was the first round. Let's get over to the next one and see how this will go down. Alright, second game of the day. We are playing the Mining Collective, we are playing a Skirmish here, and I changed my audio settings, I'm sorry, I was a bit off balance the last time we saw each other, as in the last game. Sometimes OBS is throwing all of my settings overboard and is doing something completely weird, I don't know why, I really have to check that out. But yeah, now we are here and it should be way better now, hopefully. Hopefully. What we are doing here on HPG is pretty simple, I would say we take the top, and we push the enemies down with a massive chain fire. We have intimidation factor here and that's pretty good. That's pretty helpful. Um, I'm gonna take top. I'm just communicating with the team here. Taking top and pressing the enemies down. As soon as we have that we win. Let's do it. Let's just do it. I'm also going for heat vision because it helps me distinguish the enemies from the background. I love it. I do love it. Okay. That's some solid damage, and I think the enemies are mostly in the Delta 4 area already. Acquired. Let's make sure that... Uh, shoot those guys here. Oh, people are pushing up. Gonna push him down again. This is just it. This is just it. I know that I'm spreading my damage like crazy right now. But it has to be done. This guy needs to just get pushed down, as well as everybody else. Just keep him pushed down, guys. Stay on top, and just watch the ramps. There's another one. In this case, we're gonna go group fire. On the Night Star, he's almost down. Night Star, please. Yeah, that's a kill. Alright. Um, next ramp. On the Battle Master. Battle Master, please. And the Storm Crow. And also, please don't kill me. I'm kind of stuck here. Okay, the Storm Crow is almost down. We can definitely kill him. If you want, push forward. You have to go for this guy too. Mad Cat down there. But yeah, here's the Thunderbolt. I thought it was a Battle Master earlier. Maybe it was a Battle Master and this Thunderbolt is also here. Uh, on the Thunderbolt. Yeah, let's drop it. Let's go. Make sure that you push to the right. I'm on the left. Cool. And on top again. As long as we can keep that top situation, we are absolutely fine. Um, 
UAV? EC? Don't shoot UAVs right now when you are in an active fighting situation. Look at that. We have so many enemies. And yeah, there was a Battlemaster in the back. Hey, Battlemaster. Ah, sorry. Battlemaster is cored. Um, I think we can be very aggressive here. We got four kills already. So, this guy, I don't know his state. We're gonna go for the group fire. Cool. Ooh, big hit on the center with the heavy PPCs. I shouldn't have stared him down like that, maybe. Uh, is the Marauder down? Yeah, it seems like it. It was four kills a second ago, now it's five. And again, we're gonna try to stay on top of the platform. This is just it. While the enemies are running around and taking the long way and uh, trying to get on a ramp every now and then, we just stay on the high ground and we take the short route. Just a shortcut straight away to the next ramp while they are just running around. Okay. So, I mean, that's a thing that we can just do. It is an 8 in 1 scenario right now. I would say if my team cannot bring it to the end right now, then we've done something horribly wrong. Okay, more enemies on the other side. I love this mech so much. It is one of my favorites, my absolute favorites there. Okay, hello Piranha. Can I somehow leak my shot so that I can destroy you? Or your legs. I shouldn't do it, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Because I'm greedy! <laughs> <laughs> All right, there's one more. I'm gonna pop my UAV here. I mean, we still have it. We know that the Huntsman is still there, but there's one more enemy after the Huntsman, actually. Oops. Hmm. <clears throat> that was definitely not team damage, I guess. Oh. Okay, it disconnected in, what is that, Charlie 4. Oh, that's unfortunate. It's always bad when the enemies have a disconnect. But hey, what can you do? Hello, Rifleman. <laughs> in a sphere, Rifleman. I am the clan version. So, what do you think, guys? Ultra AC 2s cool or bad? I am having a great deal of fun with them. I am really loving them. And you can also do a 6 LB2 build with this. I also made a video about that a while ago. When I would say the hitboxes here are definitely, definitely better than before. Yeah, we took that big hit on the center toes and from the double heavy PPCs. But that was just me not twisting properly. That was just uh, giving the blackjack an opportunity to shoot me in the face. Everything considered, I would say the build works, the mech works. And it is a beauty of a mech. For me, I would say... One of the most fun ones. Maybe not the best one, but definitely fun. We got two killing blows, eight assists, three kill most damage dealt, 652 damage done, as well as five components destroyed. And that was your daily dose for today. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to leave a rating, subscribe to the channel, support me on Patreon if you like. The link is down below in the description. And I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.